Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you are coming back, and welcome if you're new. Hello. Hi. Welcome to my awkward self. Thanks for joining me for my July favorites. So, on Instagram, I did a daily look challenge. I posted an eye look every single day. So, I really got to play around with my makeup. I tried to utilize every single eyeshadow palette I had. It let me try out like everything that I had and see what I liked the most. I of course like all my palettes except for like maybe two that just came in a boxy charm. But for the most part I like them all and so my favorites are pretty much, they're all eye stuff. I don't do face makeup if you couldn't tell. I never do it. I just can't be bothered. So I just have eye products today. So, thanks for stopping by, and let's get to it. So the first things that I will be going over is a lot of brushes. These are all eye brushes. These have been the ones that I use in every single look that I did this month. They're just ones that never fail me. They do what I want perfectly, and I just love them. So this one, this is just like a cheap eBay brush that I got. In those like 14 piece sets. I've had it forever. It's super, super, super tiny and thin, small. I really got into halo eyes and like doing cut creases, and this is perfect for that. Since I do have small eyes, I don't have that much space to work with. I don't need a huge brush. But this one is perfect for any kind of cut crease work or halo eyes where I need to sit down like a concealer or anything for layering on shadow, it's perfect for that. And then this brush, right here, it's also pretty tiny, it's more fluffy. This is just a great detail brush for like crease work. Sometimes I use it to highlight my inner corners or under my brows, use it under, on my lower lash line, it's really great, small, fluffy brush. And then these, all these black ones are from AOA Studio over on Shop Miss A. And they come, this is their faux mink set, these black ones. And this one is great for crease work. It's just like a pointed crease brush. Super great for detailed crease work. And this one's more of a fluffy, fluffy blending brush. And this one I use on like my transition colors, but not the ones like that I try to blend into my skin, if that makes sense. But this was the one that I like to use the most on my lower lash line it's angled and it's pretty thin and it just works really nice with my smaller eyes then the last brush is from SL Ms. Glam this came in a boxy charm a few months ago and it is just a bigger fluffy blending brush I like this one when I'm layering either just like a skin toned transition shade or I'm buffing out edges it works really great for that because it's just so fluffy and it's cute it does kind of remind me of kid makeup sometimes but it's still cute I can still dig it I still like it so next are just a few random eye products this teeny tiny little thing is a little bottle of eyelash glue came with some eye lure lashes that I'll talk about in a minute but it's just a little sample size lash glue. This lash glue, I've only tried like three lash glues before, but this one is really bomb. It holds my lashes down with just the tiniest amount of glue, and my lashes will stay put for hours. I think I had my lashes perfectly on, like I just applied them eight hours after I actually applied them. This lash glue is super great. Your lashes stay on, and they stay put they don't go anywhere I really love it then we have this covergirl eyeshadow primer I I don't think I really liked it when I first got it but this has been the only one I used this month and I have loved it it kind of smells like paint but I feel like every eyeshadow primer I've tried smells like paint for some reason Is it because you're painting on your eyelids and you need paint I don't know 
but they always smell like paint. I've gotten used to it, but this one is great. This really stays tacky and sticky throughout the whole day, even when I'm taking my eye makeup off at the end of the day or whenever I take take it off. I can still feel that tackiness of the primer as I'm trying to like wipe it away. So it's really long lasting and it makes my shadows look perfect the entire day that I have it on. And then the last little random eye product is this little liner paint pot thing from Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. Now I've said it before a lot on my blog. I might have said it in my last video, but I don't think I did. Um, I'm not really into liner. I have gotten more comfortable wearing it. I don't really like it because my eyes are small. It makes them look really just tiny. Like I don't have eyes. But, and they're uneven, so liner really accentuates the, like, unevenness of them. But this one has been perfect for any situation where I would need liner. Like for me, since I don't do liner, but I do wear false lashes, so you can kind of see towards the inner parts of my eyes. I'm not wearing false lashes, but when I do, you can kind of see the part between my inner corner and the lash band, because it doesn't, the lash band doesn't go all the way into my inner corner. So that, that's what this liner is really great for, for me. But for Weems as well, it does do really great. It's such a creamy formula. And it doesn't dry too fast to where you need to work super fast. You can definitely take your time with it. And it'll still look great. It doesn't dry up and get kind of crumbly like I've experienced with some gel liners. This one's really great. This one came in a boxy charm. It's there. The Ink Blacklist Gel Eyeliner. And there's a lot in here, and I believe it's $24, but it's six grams of product in this. So that's a lot of liner. Even if you're gonna be doing your liner every single day and you do a dramatic wean every single day, this is gonna last you a long time, because there is a lot. And for someone like me who just uses it, just boop, right there in the inner corner, it lasts probably like a year or more. It's super great, super great formula. I think it's very worth the price. For any other liner that I've seen, I would not pay $20, but this one, it, it's a lot of liner. I think you got, you could get a lot of use out of it and it would be very worth your money. So the next thing is these Eyelore Lashes. And I'll take them out of the box so you can see them. These are super dramatic, so when I first got them, I was like, why did I even get these? I'm never going to wear these. I was more into the natural looking lashes because even on my small eyes, they looked dramatic. But these ones are just super, just perfect. I love them. I really do. I think I've worn them, I used them in like at least 10 eye looks this month. Just this month. Like, they're so pretty. They're so, like, full, dramatic, beautiful. And they have a thick band, so for someone who doesn't do liner with their eye looks, it's really nice, but it's also really not nice because it kind of cleans up, like, the lash glue sometimes that can peek through, but it also makes the little space between my inner corner and the lash band more visible since it is such a thick band. But that's fine, that's why that's where the paint pot comes in. It comes in handy there. But these lashes are just super beautiful. They photograph real nice. They're even though they're super dramatic and the band is pretty thick, they are the most comfortable lashes I've ever put on my eye. It doesn't even feel like I have them on. It might for like a second when I first put them on. But after that, it's like I don't even have false lashes on. They're super comfortable. They look great with any look. I've used them with like simple looks and I've used them with fancy looks. I just love them. They're the number 106, by the way. 106, that's probably backwards. iPhones are weird. But it is 106. And I just really like them. I think they were 
twelve dollars fourteen somewhere around there and I've used them like I said a lot and they're still in such perfect condition so they're definitely multiple use ones and this is the lashes that the little eyelash glue came from so both products are a favorite so Eyelure knows what they're doing you better check them out if you like false lashes do recommend try them out so the last couple favorites are eyeshadows. The first one is just a little single. That doesn't really, this is awkward to hold a single and then try to show, but there you go. It's this L9 is the shade and it's from Shop Miss A. It's their own brand line, um, AOA Studio. And it's just this very beautiful, just silvery champagne color. I love this either it can be used as a lid color it can be used you probably can't see it because the lights not gonna hit it but I'll show a swatch of it because it's super pretty when especially when the light hits it you could use this as a lid color as an inner corner highlight a cheek highlight if you're the fair skin tone like I am it works really great as just a nice icy champagne highlight and then the other eyeshadow product is a palette. This is the BoxyCharm palette that they did with Pure Cosmetics. This came in the March BoxyCharm, I think. And it has this super cute like heart embossment on it. You can kind of see it. I just really love that. I love Pure's packaging in general. They always kill it with their packaging. And does come with a mirror a little mirror but the shadows have been so beautiful this month I kind of made like a little list of eyeshadow palettes I wanted to use each day and I was always so excited to use this eyeshadow palette it's got some pinks just really a great well-rounded palette for really any look you could do but this palette is amazing the shadows perform really well this top row like oh that's bedding this top row they I believe they're all mattes except for this one over here it's the shimmer but these mattes do have kind of a lot of kickback when you're dipping into the product with your brush but it's not too bad the other shadows though are super great they're super creamy soft buttery super pigmented i created some of my favorite looks with this palette this month i'll definitely insert some pictures because i'm really proud of those looks and i was really happy with this little 31 day eye look challenge that i did i was really happy with the looks that i came out with one of the looks that i did with this palette i just really really loved and i just loved everything about it but I would definitely recommend getting this palette, especially if you don't have like an everyday palette yet. Like one that has really great essential eyeshadows. Like it's even got a brown. It's got a black. It does have shimmer in it, this black shade. But once you kind of put it on your eye and you're blending it out, it just kind of disappears. There's little sparkles in it. So it really is just like a matte black shade. This blue shade isn't as pigmented as I would like it to be, but it works. You can make it work. It's kind of like a sheer shade with some blue sparkle to it. But other than that, it's just, this has been the most perfect palette that I have. And it's probably my favorite out of my whole collection right now. Just a really great palette. I really love it. So I would recommend trying it out. And that's all for my July favorites. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. And you can check out my blog. I do better reviews over there. I don't always have time to do videos. So if you do want reviews on things like BoxyCharm and the products that come in BoxyCharm and some other chatty kind of lifestyle posts, go check out my blog. And make sure to check out my Instagram. I'm doing another daily look challenge in August. I'm going to be recreating some looks, doing some looks inspired by other things, 
And so I'm really excited about that. So make sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more makeup looks. And thank you for stopping by. And I will see you next time for some more fun. Talking fast or is it just me? I guess if I am talking fast, it would just be me. Wouldn't it? I feel like I do talk fast though. I just thought this. Okay. Now I got liner all over my hands. Oh my goodness. I started this with just this little pink shimmer swatch on my hand and now I have black liner everywhere. This boxy black one, I swatched it one day and the swatch would not get off my arm for like three days. I showered, washed my hands a bunch, and it was still there. Like, what what did they put in that formula? The three day long swatch. It was crazy. I was so confused. And I really scrubbed it too, and I just didn't want to leave.